on Facebook bragging about infecting her sexual partners with HIV. She even mentioned these partners on Facebook by name. And this video really has sent shockwaves throughout the city of America in southwest Georgia. And now it's gone viral as well. That's right. This is alarming, not just for the, her community, but for those around the state, especially when you consider the CDC has Georgia listed in the top five four states with the highest number of HIV infections. I am HIV positive. In this one minute and 20 second video, Brandy Yakima Lasseter of America's Georgia not only states that she has HIV, but she goes on to list the men she believes she infected on purpose. You HIV positive. She even includes their wives and girlfriends who now may also be affected. Lasseter goes on bragging about revenge and wanting to watch them suffer. I will get laid, laid. Now I'm watching I'm that I get real nasty and evil. We talked to Major Herman Lamar with the America's Police Department by phone. He says they are investigating her claims. How did you guys find out about this video? On Friday, we received several forwarded links to the video. The original Facebook post on her page has been taken down, but the viral video still lives on YouTube. At least one person named in the video has taken action against Lassiter. One of those individuals named in the video contacted the America's Police Department and filed a complaint of harassing communications against Ms. Lassiter, and the investigation began at that point. Major Lamar says part of the investigation will be to determine if Lassiter does in fact have HIV. If she does and knowingly infected others, she'll face serious charges under the Georgia Law 16560 making it a crime to intentionally spread the disease. HIV.gov states about one in seven people infected with HIV don't know their status. But even if it's proven this was some sort of a hoax, she could still face lesser charges. Police say there is a major takeaway regardless of how this investigation turns out. It's because it is quite alarming to anyone in any community and we ask everyone to, uh, if you're going to engage in risky behavior, also to practice safe sex. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again. Titch with a video. Now, I hope you all been having a very good week, a very good morning so far. And I know those kids getting ready to go to school. And hopefully those kids are out the room by now. And this is not really going to be grown folks talk, even though we're talking about sexually transmitted disease, that package. And we're not talking about FedEx or UPS. We're talking about AIDS, you know. And no offense to anybody out there that may have HIV because people get AIDS for different reasons, whether it's sex, blood transfusion, whether it's sharing needles, uh, whether it's involved in promiscuous behavior. But we have a story coming out of all places. Yes, Georgia, America's Georgia. Never heard of America's Georgia till this damn story. It goes to show you how many damn counties there are in Georgia. But anyway, we have a woman who goes by the name of Brandy Yakima. Lassiter. It ought to be named Brandy Yakima full of shit. That's what it ought to be named. Now this, now this heifer, and I'm gonna try my best to be respectful, but since she don't want to put no respect on nobody's name, why should I have to put respect on her name? Now, she recently made a video on Facebook and it went mega viral. Got everybody questioning themselves and running to the health unit. And this is why. They have an old saying, well, one of the things, everything that glitter is not gold. Everything that shine, everything that look good may not be good for you. And you know how we get sometimes, fella. We see that thing wiggling and shaking back there. We just got to have, we just got to dig all up in it. For those who can't dig deep, we just want to play with it a little bit. But you have to be careful because you don't never know if they got that package or not. But Brandy went on Facebook bragging about how she gave all of these men eight and then started calling them out by names. I like how in the hell are you gonna call them out by their name? You must be one bold helper. But she didn't give a damn. But this goes to show you to have an old saying misery loves company. See, when you have somebody like this, they have nothing to lose. Because if you get on social media and you bragging about number one, you got AIDS, then you bragging about how you infected all these people, which is a felony in the state of Georgia punishable punishable up to twenty years in prison. It ought to be a life sentence. But also, I want to hit you all with this. You can go to a, a website called TruvadaCP.com where it shows the states with the highest HIV rates. And I'm sorry if you come in one of these states, but that don't mean you have. That just means you have to be 
extra careful. But we have D.C., ranked number one. Damn, D.C. Maryland, ranked number two. Damn, Maryland. Then we have Georgia. Talking about Georgia, ranked number five. No, they're not. Georgia, ranked number three. Uh, then we have Florida, and then Louisiana, and then New York, and then Texas. It's right there in black and white. But anyway, we're going to go and dive deeper into the story so we can get a little more understanding. And I'm going to give my opinion. Surely, as I go. Woman's vile rant telling partner she's giving them that package, that jungle juice, that ninja, that gangster AIDS. It's now being investigated by the Popos and the Trey King Show family and everybody across the great site of YouTube, the good and the bad bloggers. Now, America's police confirm they are investigating the incident involving branded nasty ass Yakima nasty helper Lassiter. That's a hell of a name. Now, anyway, police have confirmed they are investigating a case involving a woman's viral rant, revealing she is HIV positive and listing off the names of men she claims to have given that shit to. That's the thing right there that got me right there. Not only the fact that you're going to sit up here and knowingly and intentionally, if you do have it, because why else would you make a story like this unless you just that damn messy? And now, it'd be good if you don't have it. But the point is, what is wrong with people in this day and age where they feel the need to broadcast all their business on social media? Then when people like me come along and make a video about it, uh, you get mad. Other people get mad for you. You shouldn't be picking on that person and all this other shit. Well, you let your son or daughter or your ass get that package and watch how you want somebody to talk about them. Now, anyway, the woman in the video was identified by America's police as Brandy Yakima Lasseter. She got the whole... Health unit in America right now on lock. People going all in Atlanta. They going all in, in Albany and Macon. They trying to go to the nearest health clinic they can find because she done bust that thing all over the state of Georgia. Now, the department said they got several tips about the video on Friday. According to police, one of the men named in the video, she even started naming out the men names and stuff. I'm not going to say their names. You go back and listen to the video. It didn't start naming their wives. And the wife like, what the hell I got to do with this? I wasn't digging in your nasty stuff. What the hell I got to do with this girl? Now, imagine ladies, if you will. Mm, mm, mm. And some of you fellas also, if your woman walk that, rock that way. Imagine if you knowing that you faithful and you ain't messing around in no streets and giving that thing away, you ain't busting it open all around town, guys, you ain't digging up in everything, and then your spouse bring you back that package. All of a sudden, a couple years later, you find yourself real sick. You dried up and shit like, but damn, I know I'm on a diet. Why in the hell I only weigh 65 pounds soaking wet and 50 when I'm not? But anyway... And you getting sick and you go to the doctor, come to find out you got that shit. And I ain't talking about does shit. I'm talking about you got that package. Imagine how mad you're going to be. You're going to look at your spouse like this. They're like, I ain't did nothing on damn well. They done made up with Brandy somewhere around town. Now, anyway, they also said that it, according to police, one of the men named in the video filed a complaint of harassing communication against Lassiter. She lucky because in most places, that's a death sentence right there. Number one, you're going to sit up here and tell my uh, wife or, well, in this case, wife, because I don't know if Brandon rocked that way or not, but you're going to tell my wife I got that shit and that you gave me the A's and stuff. Number one, that's a death sentence right there just to tell somebody they cheating and then to do it all over social media. And then you're going to add insult to injury and say that you gave me that gangster that package, that jungle juice, you gave me AIDS? Oh, hell no. See, some people just don't have a damn thing to lose. Now, then when this person, and I hope nothing don't happen to her, but if she's around here doing this type of thing, like I say, you play a stupid game, you're always going to win what? Yeah, somebody said it. A stupid damn prize. Now, she says, and she got such a nasty mouth. When I was watching it, I was like, well, damn, she talked worse than me on my worst day. She said, mother effer. I'm not going to say the ucker part. She says, mother effer, play with me. I told you. I'm an evil mother effer. Now, when she said she's an evil mother effer, believe him. I done heard another female say she was an evil mother effer. And that helper one line, I was about to say that whole one line, but that helper was not lying. Anyway, I said it anyway. But anyway, she was not lying. She did some evil ass stuff, if you know what I mean. I'm not even going to say no names about it. She knows exactly who she is. Now, Lazarus says in the video, I'm evil as hell. I get real nasty and evil. We know about nasty because your ass got that package. You've been around here having sex with all these damn men. If you don't got AIDS, you damn sure got gonorrhea or syphilis. Girl, you need to go get that thing checked on right there. When I seen this video, Lord, I looked down at my wee wee. I said, Lord, thank you. I said, thank you, Lord, for, for just, for, for, uh, for sparing me all those nights I was in the club when I was out there running the streets and stuff. Thank you, Lord, because I know one thing, like they say in the church, I could have been dead sleeping in my grave messing with these nasty helpers. Now, anyway, they cited Georgia Code 165-60 saying it is illegal 
to normally attempt to transfer that shit, to transmit that shit, which means transmit a, it, it is illegal under Georgia Penal Code 16-5-60. If you're going around busting that thing wide open, what is that, wood or that cookie, and you got that package, oh, we can lock your ass up. And believe me, in the state of Georgia, if they don't lock your ass up, they're going to put a warrant out on you. And then you better hope they don't put no manhunt out on you, because then they might shoot your ass down. We've seen plenty of stories like that. Brandy girl, you done what we call on a uh, minister to, to society when, uh, what's his, what's his name? Bill Duke, the detective. You know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up, right? Now you said that you gave Tyrone that package around eight, but you was in the store buying look around ten with Kevin. So who did you get that package to? Kevin, Tyrone, or Kibo? Kibo never even came in the picture. The code makes it a felony and allows for as many as 20 long ass years in prison. I believe they should give them the death penalty because if you gave me that package, you gave me a death sentence, you might say, well, Trey, you won't die from AIDS. Shit. You, you let you get a, let you get sick from something else and watch how fast you won't, won't you check up out of here. Anyway, they say they give you as many up to 20 years in prison if a person who knows they are infected with HIV. She said she knows. She said she knows she has that package. And what y'all should have did, America's police, mm, 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 sometimes you got to shake your hand sometimes. You should have went right to that house and took her ass right to the health unit, tied her down to the damn gurney, and uh told her people to do some blood work on it and see if she got that package. And then go get everybody. But they say it takes a while for it to show up. Some people it shows up uh, six months. Some people don't show up to five or ten years later. That'll be messed up. You got a, a damn disease laying in your body, what we call dormant. It's just laying there incognito. You feel me? Then all of a sudden one day, uh, one day your child or somebody get married or something, years done passed by, whatever, and all of a sudden you wake up, you can barely walk and move and shit. You went to sleep 200 pounds, you woke up 100 pounds. Let me go and finish. Now, anyway, they say that you can get up to 20 years knowingly infecting somebody with HIV in Georgia. Now, knowingly engaging in sexual intercourse or submit to any sexual act, and the HIV infected person does not disclose to the other person the fact of that infected person being an HIV infected person prior to that intercourse or sexual act. Your ass can get hit with Georgia Penal Code 16 5 60, up to 20 long ass years. Need to do them like they did in New York. They had a guy a few years ago, I think it was around 2001, 2002, when he had sex with about 80, 90 women in New York. Like, damn, they just giving that ass up quick in New York, right? But anyway, this guy affected like 80 or 90 women. They gave his ass a life sentence for each and everybody. They said he ain't going to get out to the year. Uh, what's that movie, Chris Tucker? The Fifth Element. That's when he going to get out. They, they don't even put that in years. He going to get out when they flying spacecrafts and all this other shit in space. That's about, about uh, the year 3000. But anyway, they gave him a long ass time. And they ought to give Brandy, if she got that shit, the same thing. Now, imagine... Imagine the hell with Brandon, uh, the hell with these men cheating, even though they don't deserve to get that package. But hell, guess what? You playing Russian roulette no matter if it was with Brandon or anybody else. But if you have a spouse at home and your spouse is faithful, whether or not that helpful, faithful or not, it don't matter. But the point is, you're taking a huge risk, number one, because if you bring me something, I'm going to leave you with something. It ain't going to be <laughs> what you think it is. And I'm not going to incriminate myself on YouTube. But trust me, it won't be no more Trey King show or none of that. Y'all just send me my commissary in prison. Anyway, let me go and finish. In this roughly one-minute video, Lassiter not only lists the men she allegedly had sex with, Screw, yeah, she screwed them in more than one way. They thought they were screwing her. <laughs> now, last was screwing them. Allegedly infected, but also names the wives and girlfriends. That's what made me mad right there. Like, this helpful right here is evil. What? She jealous. That's a cold-hearted person. I'm telling you, you got women out here like that. You have men out here like that. You feel me? But anytime that you feel the need, that you just that big and bad and you that bold, that you can get on social media, I guess from all the other stuff you see on social media, we might as well just throw that in the pot too. But this is very serious right here because one thing about it, as long as there's grown folks around, even even younger folks, but we ain't talking about younger people, people going to have sex. So you got to be careful. You feel what I'm saying? They, it don't matter if you use protection or not. They got some stuff that'll seep right through that. They have some stuff that'll get on your sack. You feel me? And then you hitting that woman from the back, it's going to get all over her snatch, if you know what I mean. I ain't mean to make that rhyme. But anyway, they said Brandy was naming the wives, the girlfriends, the baby mama. She was naming... Every damn body. She goes on to brag about revenge and wanting to watch the men suffer. That's a helpful right there. I'm telling you. I right, look. That's a lot of people I don't dislike in this world. I don't hate no one. I try. At least I try not to. You feel me? Even the worst of my haters, I don't hate no one. You feel me? Because it don't. That requires energy for me. I would not give you my 
energy. You feel me? But, but is this right here. You know, for you to sit up here and knowing that you have it, even if you think you have it, and you do this, what that says about you right there, because you want these men to suffer when you the one around here having sex with all these damn men. So if anything, you the helper. You feel what I'm saying? Now, they wrong for cheating on their wives and girlfriends, but what that says about you also, if you bust that thing to anybody that wants something, sooner or later you're going to get something, because guess what? You can only throw so much shit in the pot till it overflows. I always get the last laugh, she said. No, you won't. You won't get the last laugh in this. The most high is going to get this last laugh because it's going to be a lot of head trolling. If this is a true story, this is a story right here of why it pays to live right. Why it pays to be faithful because I'm telling you, they got some shit out here right now that these men and women will give to you. Boy, the, the doctor can't get off of you. She says, I'm going to watch y'all die. That's what Brandon said. I'm going to watch y'all die. Now, the news spoke with Major Herman Lamar. Not no Ken and Lamar Odom with the America's Police Department. He said that they are still in a process of investigating the claims she made. The process can be stopped right here. Let's take Brandy Ash down to the health unit, uh, Mr. Lamar. That's all we got to do. Take her ass to the health unit or put her somewhere until we get this blood work done because she's a walking time bomb. She is a biological agent. And I'm not talking about FBI or CIA. She it needs to be quarantined somewhere. Like that movie Quarantine, need to just put her in a building somewhere and just board it up until she get cleaned up. Now, anyway, now on Friday, they said they received several forwarded links to the video. That's what he said. The original Facebook post has been taken down. You already know they're going to take it down, but guess what? We got it recorded already. But the Vibe video still lives on, on YouTube and Worldstar, on Twitter, every damn well. Instagram, this video is everywhere. Everything just don't be on Facebook. It's most of it starts on Facebook. Like the next stories I'm, I'm about to do about the uh about the mom with the two girls and stuff. That shit starts on Facebook. She takes the two girls to a damn place and stuff. I guess they're going to squash the beef. End up getting her two daughters. Well, she didn't get it. She didn't get them killed. They end up getting shot up at the place. She drives off and leaves them there. Yeah, yeah. On Facebook, all of it starts on Facebook. Anyway, Major Lamar said part of the investigation will be determined if Lester has HIV, but also shouldn't that be some kind of consequence for people to sit up here making stupid ass allegations like that, even if she don't have HIV? That's what I want to know right here, because in this day and age, you can say any damn thing, but then they want to get so mad at me for just speaking up unadulterated truth. Why don't y'all get mad at Brandy like that? If she does and normally infect the other, she face serious charges. Even if it ends up being a hoe, she still likely face Lesser charges. And that's the point. You got to punish people like this. See, look, when you put something on somebody's ass, well, that wouldn't be a good case in this because we talking about AIDS. But if you put something on them, they, they will think twice about doing this. We need more uh, more stricter laws when it comes to use the use of social media because in this day and age, you can just put any damn thing on social media. And then when people like me report on it, people get mad and say all this other shit. But then you want us to look over here instead of looking over there. I'm looking every damn well. And guess what? That's just the way it rolls. Let me know what you all think. My people in Georgia, y'all be careful. Now, remember the states I said in the beginning with the highest HIV rate. In D.C., y'all been ranked number goddamn one and two, three for damn 10, 15 years. What is going on in D.C.? You would think, well, damn, man, that's the capital of America. Shit, it ought to be the most cleanest. D.C., Maryland, Georgia, Florida, Louisiana, New York, and Texas, New Jersey. We all got to do better. Them some of my favorite damn states, and that ain't for the reason why. Let me know what you all think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your nasty-ass cousins, family, friends, some of your mamas and daddies out there giving that thing up and passing around that ass like government cheese. Let them know that there's consequences. Look, look. Sex is a beautiful thing when it's shared amongst two adults, but it can be nasty as hell when it's shared by two infected ass people. That's just nasty right there. Leaking and seepage and all this other stuff. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Brandy, she need Jesus. She need Allah, Akbar. She need Buddha. She needs somebody. Shit. Gundy, whoever can help her. Uh, what, what's the name from the Star Wars? Uh, Master Yoda. She needs somebody to just lay hands on her. If that don't work, take her up out of here. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you all think in the comment section. Brandon, if you watch this video, which you probably is, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You a nasty little helpful boy. You nasty for that. Talking about you evil. Yeah, we see. I'm out. I always get the lay, lay, bitch. Now, y'all sick as fuck.